everybody. Welcome back to my Crafty Dan. Um, I have a couple of these wooden birdhouses that are absolutely gorgeous little spring decor pieces. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then this little one right down here that I have. Look at those gladiolas. If you want to see how I did this, stick around and I will definitely show you. The first thing I did with these uh, wooden birdhouses was remove the uh, attached pieces on the roofs because I wanted to give them a coat of paint and... Uh, yeah, I I didn't I wanted to set them down. I didn't want to have this one had a little um silver ring uh, that was screw nailed like an eyelet that was screw nailed into the top. So, I just removed that and the other the larger birdhouse had a rope in it and I cut that right off. Um so I'm just giving them a little coat of chalky paint so that they're both the same color. Um I haven't even taken the label off the bottom. <laughs> so, yeah, it was uh, it was pretty easy. I used my Blue Stone House chalk paint. Um, I'm loving this stuff. Absolutely loving this stuff. And uh, I used it to paint my three-tiered tray as well. And it's, it's amazing. And I'm really glad I got the big jar because... Um, yeah, I'll probably do a ton of projects with this. And I actually got it in a couple different colors. Um, but yeah, so I'm just using a little uh, paintbrush from Dollar Tree and just giving them one coat of paint. That's all they're going to take. So it didn't actually take me very long to do this. Um, yeah, this whole project was like 20 minutes I think I didn't even wait for this paint to dry all the way it dries so fast to the touch that by the time I was done the second birdhouse the first one was almost dry so yeah um I am painting this roof you see the roof on this big one is brown and um the body of it, like the walls of the birdhouse, had a kind of a whitewash on, so I was just lightly brushing the chalk paint on the walls, but I wanted to give the roof a really, really good coat because I wanted it to be all the same color, and of course that darker brown was a little bit harder to cover, and I didn't want to come back and do a second coat on it. So yeah, I'm just bouncing all over the place, painting a wall, painting part of a roof, um, just slapping the paint on there. It was pretty easy. You can hear my kitty. I'm just doing a voiceover here and my kitty climbed right up on my lap and she's just purring away. She has to be in every single video. Um, yeah, she thinks she's a star. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I did that. And then the next thing that I did was grabbed out my napkins. I have a huge, great big bin of napkins. So I went through them and I picked out three different ones that had some florals on them. I started to separate them and they were really hard. Some of some of them were really hard to separate. I get these ones from, they're not all from Dollar Tree or Dollarama. I pick up a lot of my napkins at the grocery store. But I, uh, I took the first uh, layer off of them. And then while they still had the second layer, the second and third layers together, I cut out the pieces that I wanted and then finished separating them. But so what you have to do with napkins is make sure that you have only one layer. And on this big long piece, I took a little water and a paintbrush and went around the edge so I could rip it. So it had a little bit of a raw edge. I mixed a little bit of my Mod Podge with a little bit of water because I wanted this to be thin like the... Um, decoupage medium that you buy for napkins. Now this is the first time I've tried this and it worked fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I watered it down 
and just laid the napkin right on the birdhouse. I didn't put a layer of Mod Podge down first and try to glue it down and then seal over top. I just went right through the napkin. When you do it that way, it works fabulous, just fabulous. And it only took the one coat and it was glued down really good. So I didn't have to lay down a layer of Mod Podge, then put the napkin down and then go over top. I just went right through the napkin. Now I took all my pieces and kind of dry fitted them onto the birdhouse before I, um, you know, before I decoupaged them down because and I went along the straight edges. And if you watch how I'm doing it, like it's, I speeded it up a little bit. So um, it's, it's harder to see. But I went along the straight edge and then I brushed out from the straight edge, kind of um, going from the corner out so that I could lay that napkin down really good. And here you see me dry fitting this glad on this little birdhouse. But yeah, start in one spot on your napkin and brush out from that spot. Like here, I actually went down the corner first and then brushed out on both sides, the front and the side. And trim all your pieces and everything so that they fit nicely and and the uh, the pieces lay down where you want them to be but the addition of the napkins on these bird houses makes them absolutely gorgeous i couldn't think of anything that is more spring like and um, it's fresh looking than these florals on these birdhouses. They're so, so pretty. Uh, and I love these florals. So on the second one, the first one I did the purple all the way around and then I wanted to stay with pinks. So on that great big napkin, all I cut out was just the two pink, pink, pink glads and a little bit of, uh, the third napkin, all I cut out was a little tiny wee bit of these cherry blossoms. And that's all I cut out. Um, so I used very selective pieces of these napkins to get the look that I wanted. And that's easy to do. Napkins give you so much variety for such a cheap amount. Yeah, just fabulous. So I'm done with them. I All I have to do now is seal them. And... Yeah, they took very little time to dry. Remember, there's a lot of water in that first layer of Mod Podge. So Mod Podge itself, this is a matte Mod Podge, um, and Mod Podge itself is a sealer. So once they were a little bit dry, I went over the top of them with the straight Mod Podge to seal it. Now I'm just slapping it on, making sure that I have it really good around where the edges of the florals meet the surface of the wood. And, but I'm doing the whole surface, everywhere that there's a floral, I'm doing the whole surface because even though it's a matte, it's going to be a little bit shinier than just the flat chalk paint. And I didn't want that contrast. So I made sure that I put the Mod Podge over the whole front as well as the flowers and the sides and the roof as well. I didn't do the whole back. Um, that's not going to show as much. I did, though, uh, seal where the florals went around the back. But you can see the contrast. But you have these are just so, so pretty. And just loving this project. It was so simple, so easy, um, and cheap. The... The napkins, you get like 16 napkins for $3.99 at the grocery store. And think how many different things you can use them for. And you you know, if when you're sick of using that print in projects, you've still got them and can use them as napkins. I mean, that's what they are. So there's no waste with these, really. If you're tossing a little bit of a napkin because you cut a piece out of it, that's okay. Um, I actually used the pieces that were left over to wipe up little spills and stuff as I was going along. So there's no waste. So yeah, I'm almost done here and uh, I get a good coat of this and I'm just slapping it on like there's, it's, the, you know, there's a little bit of texture. It's thicker in spots than others. I wasn't being really careful. Um, this project is so easy. Anybody can do it. 
I even put Mod Podge over that little post. Now, you can probably see that I didn't paint the platform that, at the bottom of the birdhouse because I'm thinking, um, I'm really debating on whether to glue some moss, just a little bit of moss around the bottom so that it looks like the birdhouse is sitting in its own little greenery. I, I didn't do it in this project, but it's something that I could come back and do later. All I have to do now, and that this project is done, is let these um, sit and dry. So here are my little birdhouses all done up. So I've got this big one here, and I found a little bird. He's a little bit damaged, but he's actually the colored one. My cat got him. She grabbed him, and because these are made out of styrofoam and they're so light, her she got her teeth sunk into him twice before <laughs> I grabbed her away from him and... and uh, saved her life kind of but it looks really really cute and it is one of those tiny ones that come like five in a package and I just think that green one looks so sweet on there with the greens and the purples that I used in the birdhouse so that's the bigger one and I don't have a this is the this is the little one and I don't have now I've left the base of these. This one I painted, but this one I didn't. So I had, so you can see down here that this is a little bit raw still down on the bottom, but I am still debating whether to give that a little coat of paint or um, I have some idea for a little piece of trim to go around there. Maybe put a little moss around the bottom of it or something like that. And I might do that. I quite often will do a project and stop at a certain point. And like, look how cute that is with those gladiolas just coming right up the side and over the top. And then on this one, they tuck underneath. And then there's some of those cherry blossoms on the top. Just so cute. And I'm so glad that I finally figured out the trick with the um, Mod Podge. So you can buy a decoupage medium that's specifically for napkins and it's thin, it's runnier than the Mod Podge. And I have thought about getting it three or four times. It's a little bit pricey and I love the fact that I can just water down the Mod Podge a little bit. Now I only put about um, maybe a quarter. My Mod Podge is actually getting a little bit thick as well. So you might not want to water yours down as much. I've had that great big jar and I keep the lid off of it and I'm using it right out of the bottle and yeah, so it's getting thick. Um, so I watered the, um, the medium, the Mod Podge medium down. I probably put about um, an eighth of the amount of water in back into it. So yeah, so probably about one part water and eight parts uh, Mod Podge. And then, and it came out nice and thin. And I love that because then you can just put the napkin down on here. But look at this is like, this is sealed really, really good. So for anybody that hasn't done it yet, go ahead and water down their cheap dollar store Mod Podge, go to the Dollar Tree, get the little bottle, water a little bit of it down and try um, using the napkins. Oh, I'm just in love with this purple one. I love the way that that one strip of flowers went all the way around the front and both sides. And this wraps here right over the top and then has a break and then has some more in this corner here. It's so pretty, like... It's just, the camera is not doing it justice. It's so pretty. So, um, yeah, I just threw them on this tray. I haven't decorated this tray yet, but I am going to decorate this three-tiered tray that I made and uh, probably decorate it for Easter, and that'll be my first uh, three-tiered tray decor. So stick around, hit that subscribe button if you want to see what I'm going to do, how I'm going to decorate this tray 
And um, if you're already a subscriber, hit the bell button if you haven't so that you get notified and you don't miss that. So yeah, I'm just really, really happy with this. So bye bye for now, everybody. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.